what is going on my Sasamoto family hopefully all you guys are doing great welcome back to the channel um yeah the last video that you guys saw was me installing this uh ridiculous um seat cowl which is <laughs> which was a little crazy which i didn't understand um we finally got a beautiful beautiful day here in, in florida the temperatures has been dipping down into like the 30s and 20s which is insane frost and everything like it's nuts but anyway let's get this cold start going and then continue with the story i got some things to talk to you guys about getting rid of that catalytic converter and all that stuff let's get this cold started going i can't wait she's just too quiet <laughs> i can't all right so first of all as you guys can see through hopefully you guys can see i'm back with agv <laughs> um i am selling my uh the showy that i purchased the x14 uh multiple reasons why i'm gonna be 100 percent honest with you guys i did order an exhaust um there is a channel under the name of cali moto um he said he cheaped out with these with this full titanium headers um and I kept reviewing it and I actually saw another rider under 650 Eve and he swears by it as well. It was a lot cheaper, yes. However, when I did order it, I ordered it through AliExpress. And unfortunately, um, it didn't get passed through customs, so I got screwed out of that. It took forever for my refund to come back. I placed another order for some headers, obviously here in the US, much more expensive. <laughs> Fire, look at that. Oh gosh, oh, she picks up so quick. I love it. Um, hopefully, I don't run out of gas in a little bit. But uh, yeah, I ordered the full titanium headers. Um, I guess I'm not going to mention the company because they haven't. Uh, I think it's kind of asinine what they did. So, in most websites, I'll give you an explanation, detailed explanation here. So, most website. When you go in to make a purchase, okay, it makes sense for you to go in there, put in, you don't even have to put in the quantity. Either you're you're sold out or you have a few items left, however you want to do the website. You can do so much with a website, okay? It's all internet based. With this particular website, I managed to place the order and I got all excited. First thing Monday morning, I gave them a buzz. I said, hey, I placed an order for the titanium headers. They came back to me and said, oh, well, we don't have them in stock. Are you kidding me? Really? <laughs> really? Like, why am I having such a hard time finding parts for this bike? Like, it's, it's just ridiculous. So, I'm trying to order parts and, you know, get things going with this bike because it's so quiet. Listen, you can barely hear it. Listen to that. I know the mic barely catches it. They said that the parts are supposed to come in tomorrow. Hopefully they will. To conclude on the headers, so I placed the order on the headers on a website that let me purchase and pull the money out of my account to then sit there and realize that these um, these headers are not even available. Like, who does that? We'll just wait until tomorrow. So uh, tomorrow's Friday, so we'll check up on them and see. If not, I'll have to find somewhere else to purchase them because it's just sold out everywhere. They're sold out. And if, and if, if it is available, they want a ridiculous amount. I saw headers and pipe for like four grand i'm like that's ridiculous so i keep searching if you guys want to help me out throw it in the comments below let me know that you found something just hit me up on instagram um i'll throw the link up over here Woo! yeah baby let's get it and i really hope that the uh the microphone is not too cracky and crazy So, all right, now that we got off the turnpike, well, I want to keep you guys informed on my thoughts and everything. The helmet is great. It's a tad bit heavier than the AGV. One of the main factors is, so this is just one, it's not the main factor of it, but when I do motor vlogging, I had to adjust the uh, audio settings in the back end, um, and that was like killing me. I'm like, I couldn't fix the audio. It just sounded so muffled. 
and I think I have it figured out the reason why I'm The Shoei is made out of fiberglass and of course AGV is made out of carbon fiber. With that being said, Shoei is very comfortable. I cannot knock the Shoei. It is very comfortable. It's a tad bit heavier. It snugs around your head a lot more, if that makes any sense. With AGV, uh, it's very comfortable. Mainly what I'm saying is... Okay. So mainly what I'm saying is that the fact that the AGV has a lot of great qualities to it. I think, to, for me, it's only for me, the only downfall of this helmet is the fact that it is noisy. It is very noisy, especially for a person like me who rides the, the turnpike, the highways, you know, everywhere that uh, there's a constant wind noise where you can go deaf. So me personally, I wear earplugs. What's up, buddy? Um, currently what I use is my AirPods Pro because they have noise cancellation and it works perfect, at least for me. I was like, I never thought about this before because I was getting tired of throwing away earplugs, you know, getting the new ones and I have to repurchase them and re-up on those. Yeah, this is a great way to save money <laughs> to not have to purchase a bunch. I know they come in a box for like 20, 30 or 40 bucks, something like that. But uh, I use this helmet with my AirPods Pro and it is absolutely phenomenal. I'm so ecstatic with the, with the AirPods Pro in my ears while I'm in this helmet. And it's comfortable. It's all the way, all the way around so comfortable for me. So it works for me. The, uh, the only thing I would say is that um, the colors are a little, a little bit much. I wanted to go with more of a darker scheme because I've, I've gone, obviously you guys can tell, I went with the, uh, with the dark color bike. Um, originally when I got my R1, I was going one direction with the whole color thing. Wasn't expecting to get a whole a black bike, but uh, I fell in love with it, honestly. So. Right now, that's the way I'm going with it. So I'm currently in the market for another helmet. As soon as I sell the Shoei, um, I'm gonna be going with uh, with that particular, Jesus. Are you serious, bro? Are you gonna run me over? Yo, he went right in front of my, sheesh. See that? I'm the only one that saw that. I mean, almost ran me over. Like he, he came over the white line. See, this is why you constantly have your GoPro running. Yep, it's recording. I caught that. If something would have happened, I would definitely would have had that on camera. But he came real close to my bike. So, still waiting on the headers. Selling my Shoei helmet. I'm probably going to do a comparison video on the two helmets. I talked about it here. Yeah, guys. Uh, that's basically it. Tonight, I took, brought the bike because tonight is bike night. Thursday nights at Ace Cafe, downtown Orlando. We're going to be headed out there. Um, a lot of the people that I know are, are coming through. So it's going to be a blast. So yeah, uh, guys, uh, I'm going to cut this footage here. And then I'll see you guys at night. Because I am going to into the office. And that's where... Uh, that is where I will spend the next eight hours. <laughs> no, I don't want to... No, I actually love my job. I do. I do love what I do. It's amazing. People there are amazing. Anyway, I'm cutting out. I'll see you guys on the... Uh, the evening video. So, yeah, peace. Oh, <laughs> 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 I'm such a speaker. <laughs>